Welcome back to Social Media Journalism, an online course for the University of Texas at Austin. I'm the instructor, Robert Quigley. This module's on location and how journalists can use GPS to their advantage. So what is this all about? Well, thousands of mobile apps now are taking advantage of built-in GPS, and people who use them leave and consume a lot of content. Think about when you've checked in on Facebook or seen somebody check in on Foursquare. That's all part of this. Newsrooms have partnered with Foursquare and Guala. Guala was Austin based, but it's gone now. It was bought up by the mighty Facebook. And this whole thing is really in its infancy still. I think that mobile apps are gonna get better and better at integrating location awareness to where it really makes sense to use it. And everybody wants to know, why would you check in somewhere? That's creepy, somebody could follow you or stalk you. Yes, that is possible. It's less likely to happen than people probably fear. My advice to you is if you're worried about it but you want to use it, is check into places as you leave. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Foursquare. So it has millions of users, though it's significantly less than the giants. And by giants, I mean the giants of social media. So it doesn't have anywhere near the uh, user base of Foursquare, I mean of uh, Facebook. It doesn't have anywhere near the user base of a Facebook or a Twitter, though it still has millions of users. It has had billions of check-ins over the lifespan of the uh, service and it's only been around for a handful of years. Millions of uh, check-ins are added every single day. Is it dumb? No, I don't think so. I actually find it kind of fun to do. Uh, it's relatively interesting. You can see where uh, your friends recommend you go. You can see a lot of great recommendations and tips on there. Uh, I find it pretty useful. So what do media properties do when they partner with something like this? Well, they could create guides or reviews. Uh, they could do event coverage like South by Southwest or ACL Fest and have all their content kind of woven into the fabric of the city. So think of it that way. It's not just having it on their own mobile site or on their own website. It's actually making it so when people are at a location, they get the content right there where they are. So our assignment in this class is to add tips to Social NN's Foursquare account. See the syllabus and the schedule for deadlines on that. And you could do this from uh, one location, including your own apartment or dorm, using a computer. You don't have to have a mobile phone. You don't have to even go out to the uh, locations. All you do is log into Foursquare and the password and information is right there on Blackboard and then search for venues and write the tips. You can add uh, relevant links uh, that go with it, though that's not required. And the tips should be really well written and helpful. The whole idea of this is to make it so when people check in somewhere, they can look at their phone and see, hey, somebody at Social NN, I don't even know what that is, but Social NN says that I should order this dish or I should take this hiking trail. And it's useful to them. And maybe they'll go check out Social NN in the process. Please get outside of Austin. Because this class has been going on for a while, all previous classes have pretty much taken all of the obvious spots, especially here in Austin. So look for unique locations. Uh, try to go non-commercial if you can. If you know a, uh, a really cool state park somewhere or a national park or even somewhere abroad that you wanna point out and write a tip for, do that. All right, so what else is out there besides Foursquare? Well, there is Facebook nearby. Although it's a relatively new service, it's tied right to Facebook's social graph, so it already has hundreds of millions of users, which gives it a huge advantage. It is being uh, built by the people who built Gowalla, so it definitely has some smart people running it. And uh, if you have a mobile phone and you use the Facebook app, click on Nearby to see all that it offers. Twitter is also one. It's hard to think of that as a location-based service. However, obviously you can check in with a location on there and uh, use some of that uh, location data to your advantage. Yelp is very location aware. Should newsrooms have built Yelp? I ask that because I believe they should have. Newspapers had all of that type of material, reviews of locations. Instead of opening it up to the public though, they held it into themselves. I think that was a big missed opportunity. Group me is something worth checking out. You can text people in a group uh, easily and free. And the reason I point this out in a journalism class is because I think it could be used really well by assignment editors who want to keep track of reporters out in the field. 
so you have all your reporters uh, on the same group me group and whenever they text not only would you see not not only would everybody in the group see the text but you could also see on the map where that reporter was posting from and Waze is a little known but growing social traffic reporting app and by that I mean not traffic like traffic driven to websites but traffic on the roads so if you want to know what it's like on Mopac this morning, and I'll tell you it's probably bumper to bumper, you can look at ways and see people reporting the traffic uh, themselves through this, but also it uses the GPS and, and uh, users' phones to measure speed and all those kind of things as well. Well, that's it for location-based services. Please take the quiz.